So if you own an EV6, obviously you have this nice, really beautiful screen here. And I've had mine for about a year and a half. Uh, not, not too much damage, no big major scratches, but it is something I stress about all the time. I'm like, okay, what about scratches on here? Some of the other surfaces get scratched pretty easily. So what is the solution? Obviously you can buy some generic screen protectors and hope for the best. Uh, but today I will be talking about Screen Protec. And this is a company that actually makes very premium screen protectors for uh, many different cars. But today we're going to do it on my EV6 because of the giant screen size here. And in the package, you do get a matte finish and a gloss finish for uh, what they sent me for the EV6. The other thing they also sent me was the screen protector for this because you do touch this area quite a bit. You also touch this area quite a bit. So it'd be nice to just have some protection across the board. And instead of having something that just goes to, whoops, just goes to here, it actually covers up the whole piece. So let's dig in and see what's actually in the box and then we will go ahead and install it. And I'll give you a discount code and how you can get one of these for slightly cheaper than just ordering from the website. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen protect screen protector for the the big giant screen on the EV6, and really really nice packaging. Got a little UPC uh, view and camera phone before install. So it looks like they really don't want people screwing up their install, which is why they have this little barcode that comes with it to watch install video videos, other reviews. <laughs> so it says view and camera phone before install. Seriously, read the directions. It helps. Just see what's in here it looks like a spray bottle very nice microfiber cloth and a little squeegee well, let's take a look at the pieces let's go ahead and take it out oh they gave you two cool i'm going to wrap these back up i don't want to get them too dirty right from the get-go and let's go install them Okay, so before I do this, I wanna make sure I watch these videos. I wanna make sure that I don't get any dust. Inevitably, it's it's hard, but let's let's see how this install process works. So, I'll drop this on it, please add just water. So this bottle, you just literally just add water to it. Apparently it has soap in it already. It should be cured after about 24, 48 hours. I knew about that. Towel, wipe all those fingerprints off. Go ahead and spray the solution. That screen looks a lot easier than the EV6 one because Here's of the size of it. Install. We are going to go ahead to the car and go ahead and install this. So I'm going to do this in the sunlight because in the sunlight you can actually see all the specks of dust. And when the time comes to actually clean and install this, I'm going to turn the air off because that way stuff isn't circulating in the car because every piece of dust will uh, potentially leave a little bit of a dent. Uh, the only thing about the EV6 is the steering wheel is just in the way. Nothing you can do about this. I've pulled it down as far as I can and out, so I have easy access to all this. So let's go ahead and get the film out. So I watched the video. You basically spray the whole screen down. I'm a little nervous about getting liquid all over the place, but I'm going to do some light coats first. I'm going to wet this, get the towel ready. Ooh, it smells good. And then take this microfiber cloth they have. Oh my gosh, you got to turn the air off. It's going to get so hot in here. It is 100 degrees outside. So this is the tough part and the EV6, the screen, the bottom area is very, very flush. So I don't know what buttons I'm pressing. I'm actually going to turn the car off to see the screen. And then I'm going to take the spray again. Another few light coats. Take the squeegee. And I don't know how they did it. I think you just. 
just do that. Okay, I mean, it's as clean as I can get it. Now, we take out the sheet. Okay, let's try the gloss one. So I would recommend you lay it down flat. And then you get your solution ready. Place it on there and before it sticks on there I'm going to actually okay so it's on there and now I'm gonna line it up where I can And then you take your squeegee and you start, oh, you spray the front of this so the squeegee has no friction. But see how smoothly it's coming out. I'm sweating. And I'm also nervous, but man, this is coming out nice. Woo. Okay, so now I want to dry up the areas around so that way. Woo. Voila, seems to be a little bit. So this is where they said it would cure over time, but I feel like I didn't install it low enough. I wonder if I can peel that away. So let's try it because I didn't get low enough here. Yeah, it looks like I can. Alrighty, well, I think that's it. I'm just gonna kind of clean up the edges here and I'm gonna let it cure for a couple of days but that's it for the top part now let's get this little area right here there's a whole lot of gunk on here because this is the one area of the car we actually touch a lot you spray it it's a lot smaller so it's probably a lot more manageable to work with so let's spray this Just the way it just immediately sits on it is nice. Let's get rid of some of the soapy water to make sure this is sitting properly. There you go. Looks like everything is lined up. Let's get these bubbles out. Clean it up. AC on, cause I am dying. And voila, it looks magnificent. So when I let it cure for a couple of days, it looks so good. It looks very uniform, very clean. So let's check back in a couple of days and see how everything looks on here. Way easier than I expected. Just make sure you don't do it with dust and specks flying around. It almost <laughs> looks like it actually enhances the resolution. I know it doesn't, but it looks really, really good. It looks really good. All right, everybody. It has been a couple days since I installed the 
screen protectors. I love these. Um, not only does it look really good, I actually surprisingly like the gloss a lot more than I did. I thought I would at least. And it looks so good, but not only that, but fingerprints are so much, they're reduced significantly. Like if I do that, it does not leave prints everywhere. But on the factory screen, the second I touch it, it just automatically gets dirty. So that's a huge win. It feels really, really good. So I can't recommend these enough. The All the bubbles for the most part have gone. I had a couple areas where I could definitely use some improvement on the install method. So just, I think the, the lesson I learned was make sure that you squeegee everything out as best as you can. Uh, in the instructions, it says to make sure that you're fairly uh, applying a lot of pressure on the squeegee because it, you need to make sure you get all that liquid out. But for the most part, it looks so good. And my wife got in and she's like, why do things look slightly different? I was like, well, is it shinier to you? She's like, yeah, it looks like you cleaned everything. And the fit is so perfect. You can see how everything just kind of lines up right around the seams. And even down here, everything just lines up perfectly. Uh, so I'm a big fan. So check this out if you want that level of protection, but also you just want maybe a slightly cleaner look because just the fingerprint kind of uh, reduction itself is well worth it to me. Don't forget to use this discount code right here. It'll give you a certain percentage off. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for an update on the anti-glare. Thanks everybody, bye.